A very warm welcome to the learning home. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss how to compare two PDF documents in order to find the differences. And we are using Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. And as a result, what we can see is the summary uh, where you can see the changes in the side by side view. We can see the, the changes with some kind of identification on the old file. You can see the new file with some kind of identification to say that what the changes have been done. Uh, so you can compare text, graphic content, annotation, and various other contents. So let's get started. And here you will go to the tools tab and press compare files. Here is the Adobe Acrobat home page and press compare files. And you will see another box has appeared here. And uh, you can see the old file. You can select the file. And for me, I'm using example file. And you can see the preview here. Second thing is the new file. And I have amended files. And you can see the preview if you have done some anything wrong. So what you can do, you can go to the change file once again and identify that the required file. So here also you can swap between the old and new file. And uh, if you come further down, you will see the compare text only. And if you intend to compare only the text, then you can just select it. But suppose if I if you want to compare the annotations and various others option, please don't check it. And here is the option with the setting. So just press it once and you will see another dialog box that appear where you can identify from what page to what page you want to compare the contents. Second option is the document description. Here you can tell that what kind of document you have or you can select auto detect so that Adobe Acrobat can identify itself that what kind of document it is. And uh, here is the show in the report where you can check what all contents you want the Adobe Acrobat Pro DC to compare. So here I'm checking formatting, annotation, image and graphics. And pressing OK and it will take a little time maybe a few seconds to compare it so let let it compare and here you will see the result is ready now here is a summary report and the summary report you will see on the left hand side some kind of uh, saying that what all the changes have happened with the color legend here is the six number of insertion and one number of replacement which you can identify through the, the color legend as well so insertion is here and the replacement is here on the right hand side you will see the file results and here you will see the what is the file properties sizes and the size and when it was amended same thing applies for the new file and here is again same description seven changes highlighting one replacement and two insertion and four annotations. So it gives a quick overview of what all changes has been done. Here is one quick update about the color changes. Probably you, if you having something in your mind that the color legend should have been different, then probably there is no such option in Adobe Acrobat for this at this point of time. Previously it was and probably it may come in the future. So, but at this point of time, you cannot change the color legend. Now we will move to the see this old file, new file and side by side view. So at this point of time you have side by side view and you can see this first change is here, second change is here, third change is here, fourth change is here, another change here and few changes here. So this is all about the side by side view. If you want to see the old file and here is your old file with some kind of identification that the changes have been done in the new file here. Some kind of hint, annotation inserted. Similarly, on the second page as well. Similarly, if you want to see the new file, you can see the new file here. Annotation inserted and so on and so forth. Now we will talk about how to toggle between the changes. So in order to toggle between the changes, uh, we have two options. One option is here. 
like suppose you press it here and you will see small arrow icon and when you press it it will move to the second changes now we have moved to this next changes next changes but there is another quicker way which is here just press this small icon and you will see another set of uh, another box has appeared and here you can see the annotation inserted annotation inserted if you press it you will see those changes similarly if you want to see the last one you can see the last one so you can easily quickly uh, move from one changes to another now we will talk about how to use filter option to quickly identify the certain type of changes so here is the filter option and here suppose if you want to see only the changes in the text so what you can do you can check and check everything and you can keep text checked only so I'm going to check annotation and we'll see only three changes are text first one is here second one is the replacement and third one is another change in the draft similarly if you want to see the annotation change just select annotation and check text and you will see there are four annotation changed which is changed over here in the new document you can also uh, uh, set status to the changes and quickly identify based on the filtering technique so what i'm going to do i'm going to check everything here formatting and uh, text and suppose annotation inserted and if you want to right click here and set a status like accepted second one right click set a status as a cancelled and third one set the status as a completed this one set a status as a rejected so you will see when we have put a status that is small icon has been created here to quickly identify it and now let me show you how you can filter based on the status just if you select all all the comments will be seen but if you select it's accepted you will see only the accepted now we will talk about how to print the report and printing the report is very simple you can change the name and you can see the summary report here printed. So with this we have come to an end of the discussion and hope it has given you an idea about how to compare two documents in Adobe Acrobat.